Pr Prison Break the film. Guess I'll be watching that soon. Oh yeah, I saw that's coming out. Huh? No, as in like Prison Break the film is about Yoshi Shiratori. Oh, Came is it? Came out in 2017. Oh, right. Okay. Huh. Oh, did you end up watching those movies I told you about? Unbreakable and Sp I'm Split? I 100% did not watch what? those films that you told me about. Because I, not. this week, speaking of Japan, someone recommended to me, before you recommended me these, to be fair, to... We were talking about anime, because I've never seen... A I somehow, <laughs> growing up, missed the boat on anime in terms of, like... missed the boat on anime, too. Yeah. It I'm was just one of these things... Like, even, I, like, the I, main I, I, show... I've never been a fan of anime, either. It's not that I've never been a fan of it. I just mean I've never seen it. Like, it was never... I don't remember any of my friends ever talking about it in conversation or anything. And then one day, everyone just started... Oh, yeah, like, episode whatever of Dragon Ball Z, like, we're in... And I'm like, what the heck is Dragon Ball Z? And I'm, like, a, near an adult at this point. So I'm like, whatever, like, cartoons... So I was like, Ernesto, explain to him Dragon Ball Z. Ah, uh, I haven't there, got time. There is. Don't lie. I know. I've been to Comic Con with you, and there's one thing that you stop for. Yeah, I know. He has the he has the collection. I know. It's, it, well, this is the thing, right? So anime is one of these things where people are, are like quite diehard about it and quite adamant of how good it is. So I'm like, I, I've got to at least dip my toes in the water yeah. because this is silly. That there's this world I don't know about that's so easily accessible. So someone recommended one to watch as it's a newer one that's come out. Um, it's on Netflix, you know. Give it a watch if you like it. Discover other things. So I started watching Demon Slayer last yeah. week. And I'm obsessed with this show. I absolutely love it. I find it so fat. I love the storyline. It's gripping. And anime in general, like the... the the cultural difference, like this is what I think about. I can't, I can't think of any English cartoons off the top of my head. So I, like, I think of American ones I compare to. And when you think of like a Family Guy or a Simpsons and compare that style of cartoon to anime, so unbelievably different, like culturally, everything, artistically. I love anime. Like, anime it's brilliant. A I hope all anime is like Demon Slayer. A anime is, a, is, it's a cult. <laughs> it yeah, has a cult it's... following because uh, like it gets uh, like i'm not telling you to look it up but if you have if you go past anime like sex right it is what? it is weird <laughs> it is weird like imagine the cartoon I'm sorry, dude. Uh, I imagine the say, cartoon i'm usually right? the one that takes it to a weird place right this wasn't me. I know, but I'm, what I'm saying is, it's it's like it's totally it's a totally different take on um, it. It's weird. It is just weird. Ugh. Anyways, it, they it, there's no limit. It's like all their fantasies they can put it into anime. Like because like because Japanese um culture is so structured. It's so polite. It's so like traditional. So anime is their release. That's what I'm saying. So all the demons that they have, all the all the frustrations that they have, all the sexual um, sexual things that they can't do in real life, it gets expressed in anime. But isn't Japan meant to be a quite a sexual place anyway? Like, I know. Experimental, experimental wise. Yeah, but it's it's next level. The anime is next level. Like all of the anime, because even the violence, like uh, when they have this, the when you when you cut when there's a samurai and they cut the people, it's graphic. Like they, it's it, they cut the person in half. It's a clean. They cut the torso in half. Like you know what I mean? It's just and it's graphic. You, you see the blood splat splatter and then the bones. It's oh, I can't. I, I just don't know how to explain. Like Dragon Ball Z is a very very toned down anime. I don't even know if it's considered anime. Dragon Ball Z. That's I thought, what I, I don't. I, was, I think it's. I thought it was still considered anime. I'm not sure. I think it's like the sure. easing into anime, isn't it? Yeah. Dragon Ball Z. I, I think so. It's like, it's the gateway to anime. Yeah. That's that's it's my the impression. It's the gateway drug. Well, it's um, like, it's like, um, it's like when you get uh, into UK Garage, right? And then you go, oh, I listen to this, uh, I listen to this sort of artist. And you go, oh, right. He's the guy on the radio. You got to yeah. listen to the real UK Garage stuff. So that's what like... Uh, what so something that I I really like, and I I'd be intrigued to find out what is behind this. But you know, and I've seen this before because I don't really class again, kind of like a Dragon Ball Z. I watched Pokemon as a kid, like that's the closest I ever got. But 
Pokemon was super mainstream. Yeah. Um, I, th- like, I think it was Thundercats I watched. But. Anime? What? No, no. The That's just a cartoon. A yeah, it's a cartoon. Yeah. We're oh, talking no, anime. I'm, just, I'm talking more. St- yeah. <laughs> but you know, so you know an anime where they. Like, from an artistic standpoint, I'd say it's quite serious cartoon art compared to like a Simpsons or a Family Guy. Like, they. Yes, things are exaggerated for, like, instance, facial characteristics and stuff, but, like, the landscaping, everything, it's very real world based. Um, yeah. Like, there's a lot of detail that goes into backgrounds and stuff like that as well, and all that kind of stuff. But then, when the, they have this silly part where, like, you know, when they get, like, the black <laughs> yeah. beady eyes yeah. and they have the speech, like, that, I, I find that so fascinating. Like, where did that come from? Why is that a part of their cartoon? Uh, why do they just in the middle of a scene drastically changed tone to that like what inspired <laughs> that i don't know I just, I, I just feel like it's such a it's such an interesting cultural experience watching anime in terms of just how different it is because if you think like and forms of um entertainment they give you an insight into like the culture yeah. of the creators don't they and just it is so culturally different to cartoons yeah. you find over here so i'm going to be exploring anime from now oh, on nice um so sorry siege that's why I haven't seen this one. I've been busy on Demon Slayer. Recommend watch it. <laughs>